Hello, everybody. And there goes my cell phone. Oh, my gosh. I got to move that <laughs> right when I switched over. Cell phone interference and all that. Hey, so what's going on, everybody? This is Tim coming at you with a product review of something that I did an unboxing for back in March, as you can see behind me, actually. Uh, right behind me. I'm going to move this a little bit. You can see. Oh, wow. Look how long my beard was back in March. See what happens when I shave it down a little bit? <laughs> so, but here I did an unboxing here of the Fixture S1. Um, it is a basically a clip that goes onto your Pro Controller, your Nintendo Pro Con Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, uh, as you can see here in the picture there. Um, and it's basically, you know, let me get some of this here. And I'm pressing the wrong buttons and probably screwing stuff up here. For all I know okay so anyways <laughs> it's going in the background there so that's me sharing the what I got the fixture s1 um, which holds the Nintendo switch in fact I've got it right here let me go back over here and you don't need to see me talk about it I guess I got mine right here I've been using it for some time now since I've got it in March and I bought it with my own money they did not send it to me um or anything like that um i wanted it because i really like the setup of clips like uh, uh the clip using a clip with your phone and a controller for other games uh aka the x cloud um and uh trying to switch over here so i can get to the other screen so here here's the clip and this is what it's going for 35 dollars s1 um, on Amazon right now as you can see I bought mine back in February um, but again I've, I've been enjoying using it because it allows me to use all the controls of you know the pro controller um, there are there's some things you have to keep in mind when using this type of style one it is not compact like the switch it was designed so with the you know the joy cons and all that kind of stuff and being able to stow it away in a flat uh, space uh, that's not this so there's no case for this that you can put this in right now um, and that was one of the things that I could that I was talking about in that video that I was showing you that I was doing oh, I, I'm hiding the thing and I'm showing it on the screen there I'll go back over here make myself smaller there we go all right so again this this is a setup if you prefer pro, pro controller over the joy cons um, it is a really good setup to have. It's a very sturdy K, uh, way to do it. Uh, there's nothing to twist on it to keep it in place. You can pivot this however you want. You can have your hands in here however you want when you're playing it. So you can have it straight over if you wanted to um, and continue to play and have it balanced the way you feel and this is actually really nice for when you're laying in bed or sitting on your uh on your couch because when i'm sitting back and you can't see it right now but where my arms sit on where i lay down i have the screen in an optimal position uh, so it's more closer or in line with my face rather than when you have your switch with the joy cons where it's a little bit lower and you have to put your head down a little bit lower with all that said, um, one of the things that I said I wish I had was a case. And with that, um, Fixture Gaming actually sent this after they saw the video, I guess. They said, hey, we want to send you the case. Uh, it's actually out. You can pre-order it right now. Let me go back to, um, let me go to their page if I can. So you can actually pre-order it now on Amazon where you can get the bundle, where you get the case and the Fixture S1. Or you can go straight to their website. This is Twitter. I'm trying to get through. There it is. Straight to the website and pre-order the case there for $25. But like I said, if you, if you go, you can get the bundle for $50 bucks, where you get both. Not the controller. Keep that in mind. It's just the you get the case and you get the uh, Fixture S1. So, I have it right here. Uh, here's the case that I'm showing you. So just like the picture you see here, there's a place to put your games. 
and a place to put other supplies and then a place where you can put your fixture S1 and switch in right there. So with that, you know what, let me switch over to here. Let me go back to here. Okay, I'm gonna move my camera down so you can see what I can pack into this thing here. So, and please excuse the mess around me. I'm in the middle of class where I have to build components and learn how to use a bread board and chip and all that stuff. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> so anyways, here's the case. I'll move this over here for a moment. I was playing around with the case a little bit earlier and it's nice and sturdy. It has some of the same handles we've seen on other cases. Um, so it is bulky, so you're not gonna, it's gonna take up a big chunk of your space in your backpack, but it's going to keep everything protected if you prefer to have it this setup. And I apologize, my air conditioning is going off over here and I sit right next to it. So if you hear some blowing in the background or jet engines, that's my, that's, that's just my AC. All right, so here is the game, uh, the Fixture S1 again, right here, and my switch on there, and I'm putting it in the case. So it's right there, in there, and you can close it up. It's got double zippers. And there, you got it all nice and safe in here. It's a nice hard case. So you can kind of throw this around if you need to. And I'm just this back up here. So, what am I seeing over there? Okay, sorry, I was <laughs> making sure. I was trying to get oriented here. I keep seeing things in my screen. I'm like, what is that? All right, anyways. Here, they, it does have some spaces for you to be able to put some games in. So, there's 10 or, you know, five game slots in each row. So, you can hold 10 games. I have a few games here. I'll put them in there just to hold that. So let's put a game there, and I'll put a game here. So there, you can see the games are nice, nice in there. So right there, and then of course there's a spot here to put in a few items. Uh, and I say a few items because I put everything that I normally keep if I'm traveling or going somewhere, and I need things in with my switch. I try to put everything in there. And here, I'll just show you what happens. So here, I got my battery. Let's put that in here fits in there everything fits when you got the case open so there's there I got my joy con just in case I want to have my joy cons on me uh, I also have my EPOS uh, earbuds that I'm going to put in here it's gonna go over in this side it all fits in there so and then I'm gonna put the the dongle for my earbuds in this slot here so I'm gonna put that right here so fit that fits in there great so I'll zip that closed. Oh, I forgot my wire. I'll just put that right here. I'll put you over here. So, there we go. The only problem is, is that although you can stuff this and it looks like you can stuff it, I can't close this on my switch because there's not enough room behind the stuff I have in that pocket to squish this down without potentially breaking my screen. That's been my only complaint so far that you can't really, this is deceiving you. It shows a lot of space, but it's not going to allow you to close this case. So you're going to have to keep this separate in your backpack. And, but I did find that if I do things a little bit differently, take out my joy cons, I'm going to take out that wire and I go put that here. Um, I'm going to put my Joy-Cons over here, right on top of here, I'll put Joy-Con over here, so there's that, and because of where this sits, it should not interfere with the buttons or cause it to turn on, and which is what I was worried about, and then I put my EPOS headphones right here, my earbuds right there, and they were out of the way, so with that, See, was I able to get that to close before? Right. Close that up. There. It's all closed up now. So you are able to fit things strategically in there and be able to close it up. And it, you don't hear a lot of things jing jiggling except for probably that cord in there because that's pretty loose in there. But 
uh, that's flatter and it'll, and that um, pocket is pretty springy so I'm able to crush that down a little bit without it affecting my screen or not me not worrying about it in there but I am happy that I've got a case to carry all this stuff uh, so if I need to I can carry the game separately in a separate container I have I really don't need to put much in here because if I'm gonna carry this I'm probably gonna have a backpack so I'll probably throw other things in the backpack my main concern was keeping this screen and my switch safe without it getting crushed or cracked or anything like that. And this, having it this way, there's no issues. And I don't, if I don't have to, I won't bring my Joy Cons or that. Um, although I need my headphones, I guess. But um, I can, I can pare, tear things down and still be able to close it. So. That is my review, essentially, of the Fixture S1 bundle, I, I guess, if you want to want to say that. I didn't get it as a bundle, but that's that's what I've been using from that. If I'm not using it the normal joy, uh, the, with the Joy-Cons, the normal setup that you get with the Switch. Uh, in fact, I was just actually playing a hockey game and lost <laughs> on the old ice hockey game against Bruce. Good job, Bruce. Um, he kicked uh, we, we were we got a good battle but in the last period he just got, got away with it so uh, but anyways I was able to do, use the d-pad and I preferred this setup and was playing it this way and it was a lot of fun so but anyways if you uh, prefer using your pro co your pro controller this is a really good way to have this kind of setup without joy cons and you don't have to worry about joy con drift or anything like that you can bring extra ones if you want extra players playing with you they are you are able to fit it and it does carry some extra games but i would not count this pocket as an extra space unfortunately maybe for just loose little loose things like the wire the extra cord i had uh, again, it is the Fixture S1 bundle going for $50 or you can go on their website and pre-order for $25 for just the case if you already have the S Fixture S1 um, and the Fixture S1 is $35. So it looks like you can get a pretty good deal if you get the bundle and it is going to release on June 9th or by the time you watch this video, maybe it already is uh, released. With that, this is Tim signing off with a product review. Thanks for checking that out. Check you later. Bye-bye.